Hey, subscribe. Subscribe to your boy, Rory. If 50% of y'all would have subscribed to my last video, we'd have reached our goals already. So like, share, subscribe to the video, and let's, let's reach these goals and let's get it popping. On to the video. And you, Ray, you may be big. I beat the shit out of you. Fuck all of you. Fuck you, you fucking moron. Fuck you, you fucking moron. Moron? What's a moron, cuz? Fuck you, pal. You fucking moron. Fuck you. Shit. Guys, this is gonna be a special one. Because I got into a little Twitter tiff with y'all boy D Batch, the so called tech guy, which he has no credibility to have even a title like that. Tell him to tell him tell him to show y'all his credentials. I bet you he can't. He's a TV guy. That's what he really is. But for the first time in my entire life. Excuse me. Somebody would call me a moron. That's not how we insult where I'm from. I'm like, hold on, moron. The fuck? <laughs> that's where we going? Moron? I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's that's corny, but all right. But as you can see on Twitter, I buried this kid. I embarrassed him. He has no comeback. He thought I was gone, and he was gonna show up the next day and say something. I'm back at it again. I was in the middle of a funeral. Pay my respects. And I still killed d -Bat. I might as well just dug a hole right next to him. Another six foot. Put him on. Let's put his career under there. This is the type of fake Xbox guy we got going around here. These so-called, I'm going to keep it real guys. I'm, I'm a gamer. I'm a, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure, I just want y'all to be, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. Your opinion is not fact, sir. Shit, my opinion's not fact. But we can smell bullshit from a mile away. D Batch has been getting called out for years. For years for being a liar, for being janky as hell. This same guy also turned his back on his old podcast. And, and dipped out. Same guy turned his back on Z. Same guy don't pay bets. This same guy need to get a retwist on them dusty ass dreads. But I, I digress. I digress. When he put out that tweet, when he put out that tweet, he just wanted a reaction from y'all so he can y'all can watch his video. That's all that was. Cause, Cause Dylan ain't had a podcast in a couple weeks. He needed some way to get it out. He needs so his way to get it out was that way. He he is he is nothing but one of those. He is a, the biggest D rider ever. He just he just leech on the other people to try to get as much clout as he want. Cause if you're the tech guy, let's talk tech. Oh, you don't want to talk tech. You don't want to talk tech. You want to talk how great Spider Man is and how. The Metacritic score means a lot. When we all know it don't. We know it don't. And you are the type of person we need to get away from the Xbox community. We have such a good thing going right now. We have the best year in probably since 2007. Or is it 7 or 8? Whatever, which one. We And you over here just want to find something negative to ruin it. And um, we got to find some way... To just silence you, sir. Because we know you, with it, every time something comes out of your mouth, it's just bullshit. So let's watch part of his video. And let's watch some videos from the past of people calling D-Batch out. He has nothing but just to scream and call you moron and you idiot. And how fantastic. Uh, yeah, I wish I used words. That nobody uses. So, he's so, so fucking corny. But let's watch a couple of the clips and let's see what we think about Mr. D Batch. Address the, the chat right quick. If you're tired of your favorite YouTuber lying to you, come to Triple B. I was saying, if you're tired of these brothers with these fake dreads lying to you, 
Yeah. 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 It's coming out this year, though. It is coming yeah, out. Yeah, that's yeah. CLC. Yeah. Yo, but it's a standalone. It's a standalone. It's it's standalone. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So was, so was Last Light. It was still DLC. If, you, if you're reaching that hard, there's a problem. No, it's not. It's not reaching. Though. No, it's, uh -oh. it's, it's, it's not. It's it's. You it's know what? I, you know what? I, I you know what? We like. I I I'm a gamer at the end of the day, and like oh, I gotta dude. cut the bull. I, I gotta cut the bullshit. It, it's it's oh, it's it's a shit. it's a game. It's not it's not a one hour freaking game. It's gonna be at least five it hours. Most it's triple A, and let's let long. let's not forget that the Last oh, of Us has, has a following. So it's this DLC is important. Just like just like if Halo came out and they had a standalone. Just just like. Just like if Halo came out and it had a standalone Halo, we wouldn't be saying that shit. So let's just keep it yes, funky, man. Yes, we would man. be saying that I, shit. I, I, Every you know single what? time there's been a story. I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not gonna be a fucking slave. I'm not going to be a slave to the fucking Xbox. I'm not going to be it. You know what? Oh, it's, it's shit. Enough, <laughs> enough, enough, enough of this fucking Halo. Enough of this fucking Forza. Enough of this fucking Gears of War. Let's keep it fucking funky. Gears of War. Gears of War sold. Gears of War sold well. No, Gears of War sold well, but it underperformed. Halo sold well, but it underperformed. Hey, D, so, are you the, done the, pretending you're the only one that thinks what you're saying? Everyone oh here my thinks God. that. I mean, we gotta, we gotta stop, we gotta, we gotta stop that, we gotta stop we're damaging not, not the problem. You. The second you let me rebuttal, this is the second I'll destroy your statements. Get them, right, Dave. We can't destroy right the now. statement. Go the fact, fact is, the fact. Right what now. fucking ex as, as as an Xbox gamer, what fucking exclusives do we have? We got None. shit. We just got one <laughs> fucking hacked listen, off. Come on. Hey, listen, right. This is from a technical standpoint. If it's first of all, it's a standalone DLC. They did say mm -hmm. that it's a standalone DLC. It is a DLC. However, right? however, if it was using the exact same asset, exact same everything, it would be tacked onto the game. It wouldn't be a standalone. Exactly. So the fact no, that that's not true because the first light, the fact, the fact second light or whatever it was called, did the same thing. It used the same engine and everything. The fact that it's standalone, slightly it's, different. Yeah, it's okay. standalone. See, this has been happening since 2017 and y'all been letting him get away with it. He been defending everything PlayStation for that long. He been shitting on Xbox for that long he was defending the let the let uh, the uncharted uh little dlc standalone dlc th thing they had he was defending it to the death and he was like Ge basically he basically was saying gears gears wasn't good it underperformed and halo wasn't good it underperformed well that that dlc pretty it underperformed also but you know he didn't say nothing about that he been he been um, defending that spider that Spider Man and PlayStation for a while now, and we are not we, but some people are just getting hip to it, and uh, we shouldn't. But we here now, and we're not gonna take that bullshit on. And sometimes guys get really upset when I talk about the PlayStation or I talk about PC and other platforms. Now I play on everything because first and foremost. I'm a gamer, so I enjoy games. So if I want to play the best games, I need to own all platforms. I need to be able to play games wherever. Why does he constantly have to tell us he's a gamer? Most gamers don't say, I'm a gamer. Hey, hey guy, I'm a gamer out here. Hey, I'm a gamer. No, nobody says that. Only people that try to make you believe they something that they probably really not. He consist consistently tells you that from back in the day to now. If we felt you was a gamer, you don't have to tell us. We're just we're just gonna believe it. You're just like, oh yeah, he plays. He, well, I can look at his gamer today. Oh yeah, he, he he plays uh this with me, that with me. No, we he consistently had to tell you that because he had to validate something that he's really not but let's continue you see of course that is the best place to play but not many people can afford a pc and of course there's a lot of other things and issues that come with pc now today i posted on my twitter and i said i'm not gonna lie as an xbox fan i would like our games to receive such a high praise also and xbox needs to focus on the quality of its games exclusives are supposed to stand out in the crowd and xbox games are good but it's time for greatness and I said congratulations to Nintendo and Sony fans on the latest release so what type of person gamer whatever because Nintendo comes out with something 
because Sony comes out with something, you feel the need. I need to congratulate them and shit on my own. And who makes a fucking video about a tweet that they made? Not about a tweet that somebody else did or something that got on your nerves. You made the fucking tweet. You little bitch, you made the motherfucking tweet. Why are you making a video about it? That's it. That's stupid as fuck. The fuck? What kind of shit is that? You make a. I'm gonna make. I'm know what. I'm gonna make a tweet, and then I'm gonna say, "Hey, I'm gonna make a video about it," and watch y'all fucking kill me for it. The shit kind of man, get this dumb ass out. All right, let's go. Keep going. Now, Super Mario Brothers came out this morning to a 95 on the Metacritic. It's a must-play title. Now, since the reviews have come out, it's dropped down a little bit, so it's now at 93. Now, Spider-Man came out the other day at a 92 Metacritic. It's also settled down to a 90. These are both fantastic scores. Now, when we look at Forza Motorsport, the latest release, it is at an 85. I believe it came out at 87, and then it dropped down to about 85. Now, are these all good games? Of course they are. Do review scores matter? I don't think they matter all the way because there's some games out there that reviewed poorly. I'll give you an example of Days Gone. A lot of people didn't like Days Gone. I thought that game was fantastic. And then, but I gotta be honest with you. When is the last time an Xbox game was just loved by the whole entire media where the game was just so good all the bias was just thrown out the window and everyone had universal praise for an xbox game now that was great overall but the hdr if i'm gonna be honest with you guys it was not giving us the um higher fidelity colors so it wasn't giving us hdr colors it was not giving us rec 20 colors or dcip3 colors so basic sdr colors but the HDR implementation, the high dynamic range, it was excellent in the game. So I don't want to kind of go off on a tangent here and saying that the game is not good. The game is fantastic. I never seen somebody use the word fantastic so much, so fucking much. Oh, oh my God. Um, they didn't have the right colors in there. Look, washed out. No, they said it was a bug. They already fixed it, but you got to bring it up. You got to make sure you call it out. Could you? keeping it real well um, they got 95s and 92s on their on their metacritic and um for the for the first time got under a 90 it's not because the media doesn't like it it just that's the quality that's the quality of it no it's not you some bitch dumb some bitch you and i both know why that game got an uh, 85 but let you tell it it's the quality of the game. I've been sitting here fucking playing for the like a motherfucker on this wheel. Trying to get the trying to get every turn, trying to learn how to not to spin out. But you're not doing that. We know you're not doing that. Cause you're playing Spider-Man. Don't try to blame the Xbox platform or the community or even the game that you are a Sony guy. You play, you rather play PlayStation then play xbox that's what it is it's not because the xbox games have some type of fault it's because you d-batch or a sony guy i don't even know how you are on the biggest xbox podcast you don't have the credentials to be there and she'll find a way to get you out of there but let's continue my point is it wasn't a perfect release there was some issues also the foliage on the track i don't think the foliage looks really good on the track it's not what they advertised to us at launch now when this game was coming out like i believe a year ago whenever they showed that trailer we saw some foliage we saw some details at the side of the track we saw some ray tracing that looked fantastic we were told that this is going to be on the xbox series x version now of course the xbox series x version does have ray tracing but it doesn't look like the trailer that we were shown. The foliage is non-existent. It looks nowhere near what was shown in that trailer. And my point is, is the quality. You have to deliver on your promise. This boy said foliage. No, not grass, not trees, not, not people out there. Foliage. God fucking damn it, I hate this son of a bitch. Foliage. So when you driving, you want to look at every blade of grass. 
Don't look at the road. Don't worry about that hairpin turn or anything. Or even the cars in front of you. We're going to look at the foliage. Boy. Let's continue this video. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get mad. Now, one thing I can say about the competition is that their games are quality. The Spider-Man games come out. They look fantastic. I am excited to play Spider-Man later on this week. I think it's going to be a phenomenal game. It has ray tracing in every mode. Most people, when they talk about a Sony game, they don't say it's a poor quality game. Their games are of a high quality. They have... Huh. So, their games are of high quality. That's what you say, right? But you brought up Days Gone. Hmm. But... Exhibit A, it's the new Sp the new Spider Man, right? How many bugs have I seen on Twitter from the new Spider Man? Tons of them, mega tons of them. I don't even know how this game wasn't fucking delayed with all the bugs. And then you you had the nerve, you had the nerve. To blame it on the Xbox guys, the reason you said we put it in debug mode. That's how we got the game. Man, where's that same energy for Starfield when they walk a million miles to live just to find a fucking visible wall? You didn't say shit, did you? No, you didn't. So shut up. Halo, which is your franchise, was not fantastic. It was a good game. I enjoyed the campaign, but the multiplayer was kind of meh. And just recently, they released a talk about Redfall. Now, a lot of people got on me for Redfall saying, Why are you dissing this game? It's fantastic. I'm having so much fun playing this game. 30 FPS is not bad. And I said, if this game comes out without a 60 FPS option and they patch it down the road, nobody is going to care about this game. Release it right the first time out the gate. A lot of people laughed at me. said, no, no, no. When the patch comes out, People are going to come back to the game. People are going to continue to play the game. That game is dead. Even now, with a 60 FPS patch soft, they really need to focus on the quality of their games. I'm not saying they cannot do it. They absolutely can. And I'm saying that they must do this going forward. If you want your Game Pass subscribers to increase, you have to make sure that there are quality titles going into your Game Pass service. The detractors out there like to say that Game Pass is a place where games go to die. That the quality of games that are in Game Pass is not good. And I'm excited for the future of Xbox and I think things are looking up. I just want to say that I'm tired of not having a game that all gamers are talking about. Every platform seems to have that title and microsoft seems to be suffering halo is supposed to be that title for us and halo like i said earlier it hasn't had the best showing in the last few years now hope that's how i know he doesn't keep up with real xbox stuff he would have been knowing about all the, the seasons and everything halo been coming up with and everything halo has been doing halo has turned around first of all halo didn't release bad in the first place Halo just had a la lack of multiplayer content, and people wanted, um, um, was it a um, single player DLC? That's what Halo issue was. Halo didn't have a bug issue or a game breaking issue. And for you to say Redfall is dead after this patch, I didn't see so many people reinstall that and start playing that at 60, F 60 uh, FPS, but you wouldn't know because you don't play Xbox. You're not an Xbox guy. So you wouldn't know that. And for you for you to even utter the word Game Pass doesn't have quality games in there. Or it doesn't they need they need to start they need to start putting quality games in there. It's just pure idiocracy. Pure stupidity. You are a dumbass. I see why people get on clown you all the time. Cause you are not you're not one of us, sir. You're not on. You're not on my level. I'm so many levels above you. You are. You are not on. You're just somebody who just just roll somebody's D all the way here. But you you are not. You are. You are on our doorstep and our radar right now. So that's why we're coming at you. And for you to say you tired of not having an Xbox game that's being talked about what the fuck was starfield doing 
it was marketed everywhere. Everybody was fucking talking about it. People were still talking about it. It just was number one, and I think it's number seven for the, the whole year. It just was number one for September. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? You just saying shit. Going forward, I know they're changing the engine, so I have a little bit of hope for the next Halo that they can recover from this disaster. I should say from the last few years, Microsoft needs to fix some of these issues with the impression that their games are not quality, especially when we're seeing Super Mario Brothers scoring so high. When we see Spider Man scoring so high, Spider Man, it's going to move consoles, so this does matter. Now, I know some Xbox guys are going to be upset with this video, and it is what it is. I'm just an honest gamer, and I got to tell you guys how it is. And as I scroll through the comments here, I see some of you guys get it, and some of you guys don't. I see one guy here saying, dude, come on. Are you really sitting here believing Starfield didn't deserve a 90 plus? Now, Starfield, in my honest opinion, as I said here, it's an 8.5, which is a great game. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it's not a must play. A must play is like a nine and above. Like the new uh, DLC for um, Cyberpunk, I believe it's Phantom Liberty. That DLC is amazing. It is blowing my mind. The graphic fidelity, all of the fixes that they have for that game. Now I'll be honest, that game's launch was a disaster. So we gotta put that into account. But right now the DLC is fantastic. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The DLC took me away from Starfield. And then Spider-Man, so it's okay for them to release DLC and it'd be great, but when it's Xbox, it's not okay. Cause I swear that took about a year and some change for Final Liberty to come out, which is great, huh? I see, I see the hypocrisy and the double standard that you got. Oh, and for you keep saying Halo was a disaster, where? Where the fuck was that? What? You know what? We know what you're about. So, you just I'm just a, I'm just an honest gamer. Shut up. Shut up. Nobody care what the fuck you gotta say. They are not. They are doing a lot better than they used to do, and they have some stellar titles. But once again, they need to step it up a notch. And I want to see our games in the conversation of game of the year. When is the last time we had a game that was even being discussed for game of the year? If I have to be honest with you, it was probably Forza Horizon 5. And a lot of people said, nah, it's a racer, so it doesn't deserve to be game of the year. That was the last time. That was a couple of years ago. And before that, when was the last time that we had a game even in the running for game of the year? What you just did right there is what exactly what why we call you a pony. You did exactly what ponies do. Forza came out. Forza Horizon 5 came out. Bang it. So everybody like loved that game. But it's just a racer. So it doesn't count. What was the one before that? See, that what ponies do. And that's what you did. And that's why we call you a pony. That's why you not us. You're not one of us. And you will never be one of us. I'd rather bring somebody else like, I don't know, shit. I'll bring Mooch back before I bring you back. Nah, I won't bring him. But still, at the end of the day, you keep on giving all these pony talking points and you consistently do it. Consistently do it. And you finally have been call called out for it. Now you're trying to play the victim. Like we're just attacking you. We're the fanboys because we're attacking you. Maybe you just like, you got inaccurate information. Maybe that's why we're attacking you. Maybe we see right through you. Maybe that's why we're attacking you. Maybe that's why we we at your front door knocking on the door. And you won't let us in because you hiding in the corner. Maybe that's what it is. But we got one or two more clips. Let's go. So my point is valid. Microsoft needs to step up the quality. They need to step up the releases. They need to choose good IPs to uh, revisit. And Phil Spencer said that recently in an interview that they're going to look at some of the old I Xbox does is great. It's not. And not everything that any company does is great. 
every company has areas where they can improve. And in my honest opinion, when you ignore these problems, it's never going to get better on the platform. So to all the fans, and I know are going to be writing stuff in the comment section saying, Starfield is green, it's a fantastic Bethesda game. Yes, it is. People are going to say, Forza, it's like the best racer. I do believe it's the best racer now. Forza 2023, there's areas that they can improve on it. I think they can improve the graphic fidelity, especially on PC. I think they can up the gra- Fuck you, pal! You fucking moron! Fuck you! That Activision has. And if the developer is passionate about it, then they can do it. It's not going to be forced on them. And also, gamers, you have to let your voices be heard. If you're not happy about certain things, you have to speak up and say something about it or it will never change. You can't be in an echo chamber all the time saying that everything... Oh, whoa, whoa. Time out. He, he, he just took a shot at the chamber? Did he just how he you can't be in the echo... I, hold on, don't, don't check my... Hold on, I run the echo chamber. Oh, you little bitch. You, you was gonna take a shot at me anyway. All right. But... <laughs> you still corny, so we, we don't really care. Your opinion is... You can say your opinion valid. It doesn't make it valid. You still trash, son. You still... Or cornball at the end of the day. You want to be validated so bad and and be right so bad and you, you're wrong and you're a liar at every goddamn turn. So we're gonna keep calling you out at every turn. We're gonna every time you say something, we're gonna make sure we check you on it. Cause you shouldn't be here. And we're gonna make sure we, we you don't need to be around. You know, go go do PC stuff. Go do fake bitch marks. Cause you know all those we know that you you got that from like red red gaming tech you didn't really do all that stuff you didn't you, know, you just you just watched their videos and regurgitate what they said so you can go do your tech stuff go do your TV stuff leave the actual gaming to actual gamers cause you, that's not what you are but y'all know how it is y'all put me through one of these another one of these god awful people that I don't that I don't find entertaining that I find extra boring. So, we went through it again. So, like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to, we got some more. We got, oh, man. You know what? Catch us on Wednesdays. Because in the coming weeks, I have a super, super special guest. Somebody who hasn't been interviewed or been on a podcast in a while. So, I want y'all to just keep your head up on that one. It'll be in the next couple of weeks. And we are going to have fun. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.